Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Yep. Was, they Not a lot of they, action. They Not just a lot got of team fighting. They got the dragons. Um, was kind of the, the angle there and, and relieved some pressure. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you need to do. As Cole's oh. gonna flash. Yeah, I guess the slow and uh, yeah, who is gonna sidestep everything? But I don't think he can sidestep his death. This first blood will come through. Raptor does pick up the kill. Someone unfortunately. I mean, that's how you could set up a bullet time in this comp uh, and get a barrier. And uh oh, Duro's level six. Uh oh, Raptor's here too. Teddy is gonna cleanse. He's gonna cleanse and flash to get away from that one. No more summoners in the bottom lane. Meanwhile, Meganar comes in. Frog trying to fight against this. The wall keeps gonna miss. And now, Savannah's getting in there. Sponge looking to take this trade against Raptor, who was very deep in the enemy jungle. And now, trying to go back in. He's got Closer. Hops over to Closer and lives. And Sponge gonna throw one more E, but he's just baited into it. It's a double kill for Closer. Excellently played from BNK. Yeah, a bit of a whoopsie there. I thought he saw blood on the water. Sees an angle onto Raptor, but Leeson is just so mobile. And if you're sitting on a pickaxe. That's flash back up. And now it's gone again. And with that, that's the dragon going away from the Shivana here. As clear is just like, nice counter matchup. I'm, you know, he's maintained his CS, but he is just constantly putting the pressure on, constantly using Crazy his Easy at first, but somehow works out for him. The Raptor almost able to trade that back. Trying for it now. Oh, the kick is very nice. The angle here, Sponge is getting caught. He doesn't have flash. Just now the charm comes in and we've got an MF, but he gets stunned by the S arrow and Teddy can't follow up. That's so unfortunate for him. Excellent arrow comes in from Hannah, and that's just gonna be another one team fight for Phyrex. Yeah, I mean MF is trying here to on vision and closer. We were up in the top side. Can Frog get out of this one? He's got Sponge nearby, but the wave has been stopped. Frog is trying to clear it, but there's one minion that tanks a turret shot. The knockup comes in, and it's clean once again from the mid and jungle duo of B and K. We'll sacrifice some gold here in the mid lane, and Yahoo should be able to get some split plate gold, so they at least able to get something back here. Duro just holding down the fort, but clear is also going to get plate gold on the top side. And Sponge he did build has to Spear of so Shojin here first, which... Uh, you and I aren't super keen on because it means that you're not doing that much damage in fights just yet. As always. Yep, here we go again. Yeah. The Lee Sin kick into the Talia, who just easily is able to throw some rocks down and get the extra stun in. It is just so oppressive. And from ahead, it looks almost unfair. Yeah, it's just... Where's the cross map, too? Like, there's no great target here. Henna has Flash. Is just play it was playing super respectfully, super far back. And then in the bottom lane, Yahoo's going to be able to have some friends here as he tries to take out this turret, but it's going to be Closer who gets this one first. So first brick goes to the side of B and K. This takes three people to take down, so there's just no other pressure on the map. I mean, DRX caught a ton of vision in the jungle, and around the dragon that has a bigger issue is it's not a lead for DRX. And if they got massively ahead, we talked about how their big burst damage could just be enough to where you don't need a front line, you just kill the enemy champions very easily, and you kind of just roll over the game. <laughs> Not to be the case here. So, normally we wouldn't be excited about Ocean Soul, but <laughs> it's BNK in the lead against a, a poke comp, right? As Closer knows he's in the bush. He's queuing the bush before he even sees it. And they're just waiting for him. And uh, here comes the rest of the team as a massive Neural <laughs> Oh my god, this Wombo Combo is disgusting. As everybody just gets lined up and taken down. Well, with this um, very brittle and rickety draft here for DRX, as you as you can see, as the uh, as B and K have uh, clearly shown, um, you know, it's it's not very sturdy. DRX uh, was trying to set up for that as well. Yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah, it's, it's like B and K here are like, okay, no he is calling for the TP. Closer shoves him in, and nice flash, great flash, insane Nar here from Clear at the very oh, yeah, tail end of it. And the craziest thing <laughs> about a lot of stuff. But the Shivana maybe should should let the rest of the team come over a little bit first, maybe have a little bit more setup before you go on that one, because your damage is going to be long term just sending out a lot of fire breath. Uh, well, uh, that's that's your front line, and right now the wallets are just so huge that it just doesn't matter. Like B and K are just able to invade so aggressively as a team. Now looking for the kill on a frog is there it is. Raptor went so deep for that one. May have to pay as the MF ultimate is gonna get him. I thought maybe he'd be able to hold on. Teddy gets one! 
They're on the board, Valdez! Yeah! It already wasn't a perfect game because that turret went down and some grubs went over, but... Yeah, I mean... You get one back. I mean, he, he's he got BT, so... MF with a BT, that's scary. I mean, he's got a lot of shields. Yeah. Um, look at that shield he's got. <laughs> it exists! He's a front line now, Valdez! <laughs> Watch out! Hey, it just got a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, he did some attacking, about 50% health. Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, okay, there's your Arden Gate. He's going to find closer. He's just going to stand and deliver as the rest of the team yeah, is going in uh, to try to get that kill. Not going to happen as here comes the Nar. That's another kill going over to Clear, who is 3-0 and 4. And, yeah, BNK are just kind of flattening them here. Yeah, it's uh, 15 kills to 1. We haven't really seen too many one side game. Q to execute, but he does not have his uh, safeguard cooldown as <laughs> Leta. Well, we, we've seen that before. Wait, Leta might actually die if not <laughs> if the entire rest of the team. Oh, oh he's dead! <laughs> Raptor from the jungle. The kick comes in, and he lands the Q. Man, this guy is a pretty good Lee Sin player, isn't he? The knockup comes in, and the dragon will not get away. Really nice solar player here as well on a Yahoo. Right now, they're just having a lot of fun. They're just throwing abilities at the enemies, and it's working out as Henna. Gonna have to flash out of this, but I'm pretty sure he's okay with that. Yeah, you know, when some of the CC gets used to kill other champions, that's when Teddy's like, you know what? It's my time. It's yeah. bullet time. And then he scares them away, but the fight is already, uh, already won, as it turns out. But at least there wasn't any CC to stop him um, from doing that. The solar player was already used. Yeah, the gold difference here is uh, immense. It is... Even Duro's like a thousand gold. <laughs> you just don't know where anybody is, so you can't really do anything as Raptor hits the Q, the arrow comes through, and then the seismic show up. Like, it's a, it's a pick comp. Guess what? It's a B and K draft. It's a pick comp. Oh. Oh, no, we missed one. <laughs> We saw the other 18, but number 19, yeah, we got to hide that one from the kids. Um, this, this inhibitor is going to go down, and I think the base is going to fall very soon. BNK, not a team that's known for waiting around and not doing much. Even when they're losing very badly, they will just run at their enemies. That's true, uh, and they're going to run towards the Nexus real quick here with the Baron buff. And Clear's got Gnar. No ult yet. Yeah. <laughs> Just waiting for it. We get the zoom ins as well. A bit of Shivana damage, you know. Uh, Corky's trying to do stuff. Yeah, who's just going to get stunned up and he can't do anything. Raptor's got the angle on Sponge and he's just going to get knocked back here by Closer as well. BNK very much playing Ring Around the Rosie. Very fun time for them. Not very fun for DRX as, uh, yep. Welcome to Onivia League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. And it feels like maybe extra practice is leading to extra champions that can be played, which is giving a little bit more breathing room to Ryu in the drafts. Frog. I'm not going to get to talk about it because Clear, the guy I mentioned, is just going to get a solo kill under the turret before level 6. And there you go. Probably um, didn't even... Ivern is coming up here. Sponge is getting ready. And I think Frog's got a good idea that this is coming. They don't have any vision, but Ivern is hiding against the wall. And so I, I think he's going to try to help out in this one. They see Sponge. Do they care? It's only level 5 Ivern, to be honest. They might just kill Ivern. They're like, yeah, okay, cool. You saved your Gnar. We're just going to kill you instead. Yeah, unfortunately for Sponge, was a little bit too far out there. And I think they expected this. And they knew that regardless of target, they'd be able to pick one off because they have the damage. I mean, it's just Sork Shoes and an Amp Tome Oster here. Will be and always changing parts will make things more difficult in terms of synergy and chemistry with the players and stuff. So, we'll see how it develops. Sponge, unfortunately, just not quite in range to set up for a root here. And that is going to be BNK getting the dragon. You know, it took them a while to take it. They weren't able to instantly grab it like we were referencing earlier. Raptor hanging around top side in their control for very long with saplings coming yeah. through. Well, the great thing about Maokai and, <laughs> and Ivern is you just toss saplings in there. You can't fight the Steer X. Go the other way. Okay, they're going to try to punish Closer here, but he is Corky. He'll just Valkyrie. And, yeah, I mean, look at this. Clear's just hunting down Frog. The flash and the follow flash comes through from Clear. He's going to shut that down. Another solo kill for Clear. This guy is just kind of insane nowadays. Hannah just ults to clear the wave, knowing that Pleta and Sponge were missing and there was a possibility he was going to get dove. He's able to clear the wave and then get uh, out of there. The confidence he exudes that I feel like 
a lot of our challengers players initially when they come into the LCK take some time to get like lucid as well as Henna. Is Zeri? Um, yeah, Magnus Storm. He's got cleanse and flash. I, I think he's fine. <laughs> and uh, yep, good play by play Wolf. Yeah, <laughs> so he, he got a little dash in there, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he dashes away, and uh, yeah, that's the end of the fight. Times we saw Tristana's winning, um, but now, especially after the Tristana buffs, it's like well, or Nurse rather, it's like well, Corky's just the supreme king of the mid lane unless you pick a straight counter. And they're gonna take that mid turret as well. I don't think that B and K should look to fight here. All they have to do is neutralize the pressure here because top one lane and with Grubs wins turret, mid wins lane and with Grubs takes turret, and then bottom side you lose lane, but then you it's neutralized by Raptor being here, Enduro having flash in his ultimate. So you don't want to force the fight, but you don't lose anything. Yeah, who may stop this back? She's fun. She does, but. I mean, this is a dragon going over. You got two turrets. The gold lead here is, you know, it's pretty significant. It's 3,400 right now, 3,300, give or take. Two dragon lead, six grubs. It's Chemtech, so. Pyrex, BNK Pyrex will like the vision control they get. Yeah. Yeah, who is going to get, because he's Tristana here, and they've indexed into this bottom side a bounty turret. Clear. Oh, no. oh no, not not Frog again going down. Yep, the Shuriken's gonna hit him. Raptor was even there. Where's Duro? He's also there. Yeah, he's he's there. They didn't need anyone except Clear. Nah, Clear's like, we, we, we just lost a turret because you guys, this is a bad macro play, but I'll take the kill, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for being there for me, for moral support, but uh, maybe you guys should defend the bottom. But it's cool, it's another turret. <laughs> um, it's just hilarious to watch Duro just like swinging by with quickness up. Like, <laughs> what's he even doing there? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we got a little 1v1. Plata was coming over, but not going to amount to too much. Uh, with this Rakan skin, like, for just a split second of my brain, I was like, there's a Velvet? It. At 17 minutes. Yeah. He, um, he will just press R at the enemy team and win the fight. Kind of in the middle of nowhere here. And Teddy. Yeah, he just realized once again that that is Zeri, in fact. That's happened like four times this game as well. <laughs> it's like, oh, Henna, is he? Oh, he's Zeri. Yeah, totally fine. Yo, uh -oh. may he try to punish this with Fleta? It's nah. pretty hard to with Raptor this tanky. Yeah, if you have a Poppy, so as you can, you can do something with that, but they don't really have. I mean, he had the crash down stun, but not able to, to follow up, as you say. He never treat Nar the same way. I guess because he goes into mega form. I figured it out. Um, yeah, so we have a Baron start here at 20 minutes. Duro's on the flank. Yeah. Clear's on the... Oh, pincer? the Mega Cone to get away, to get an even better angle? Uh, they're trying to get in here. We can't even really see the bar of the Baron health, and yeah, they're just going to look for the turn. I feel like they could have just taken the Baron, but instead they're just going to go super deep because, guess what? It's B and K Purex, and they're just going to pull the trigger, and they're just going to run at their opponents as a massive ult comes in from the realm, but it just doesn't matter because we're just watching the rat, looking and testing the theory. Oh no, Wolf, we tested it again, and the same result came out again. I mean, Teddy, I would love to see the damage to, uh, you know, the damage per champion in last team fight. You know, damage to champions craft, full up. Because Teddy played very well in terms of positioning. He was very far back, didn't get caught by the Rakan, wasn't caught by the cannon until the fight was kind of cleared up. Um, he didn't use his teleport to get in there, he just walked over, so now he's going to teleport back to lane and get more farm, because he wants his death cap as soon as possible. But, uh, I mean, he might go Zonius, but... Death cap is the cool way to do it. It's not the answer. It's a strong rat. Yeah, yep. it's, the, it's not just the cannon oh. he's got to deal with. Death cap on the way. Yeah, he's got the he's got double rod. Red Bull Baron power play, and they're needlessly big, Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they so big? Uh, <laughs> nobody knows the answer except Riot. I've lost my mind. Yeah, it's one of those games. I mean, this would be a perfect game, even in New Age perfect game. Maybe not with the plates, but the one turret went down. And that's it. Thanks, Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. There was, you know, six grubs, rift heralds, all the dragons. Most of the turrets going the way of BNK Firex. And now we're ganking Frog. Closer is not going to interact with him, but it's going to be Soul Point finally. This has been up for a while, uh, but now BNK are going to take it out. It's awesome to change the way this game played out, but I think it is something you need into cannon. Kennen does a lot of damage to turrets when he has this much ability power. Yeah, you know what would help that? Lich Bane. 
might buy it. I mean, it's still on the cards. I mean, you know, it's not bad. You get your combo <laughs> off, you, you attack, and it does a nice chunk of damage. You're going to be attacking anyway. You got to land that, you know, empowered auto and stuff like that. The most stressful part of this for B and K is to see if they can finish the game without losing anybody. Yeah. They're playing it very carefully. Stacking the waves very well. It's actually clean. Yeah. Clean play here from BNK. They're going to get all three inhibitors. Super clean today. I mean, this is some of the cleanest league we've had all week. Yeah. And this is, I mean, there's nothing that DRX can do. They're just suffocated. They don't get to play the game. There's no way out. I mean, they're going to put some hybrid bushes up to delay it. <laughs> That's it. That's the plan. That's the play. I guess so. And Duro is very tanky. They found, well, Duro and uh, Henna, who just flashed away from it. Plenta's dead. Duro might go down. Yes, he will. So a trade of supports, but you haven't dealt with the rat. And Frog's going to ult into closer as now we got an angle here for Yeah, who is trying to do damage, but it's just going to be the Nar to fall. And the turrets are down already. The Nar comes in, or rather the Kennen comes in, and it doesn't do anything. Might kill Teddy here. Yeah, that Shuriken just one shot him through the shield. And that's going to do it for game number two and for this series. BNK Fear X with the These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.